Fun with us, where the corn is popped And the throwback Thursdays never stop It's a magical land not far away All you have to do is just press play So, hop on the couch and close your eyes Gonna party like it's 99 Join us, watch the movies of our lives With Blockbuster Wives Welcome to Blockbuster Wives Where your two favorite 90s babies Talk about movies from the era of a certain Blue and yellow video rental store I'm the ghost with the most late fees, Shay Baby. And this is Stacy. Not always tricks, but always a treat. And oh, you're listening oh. to Blockbuster Wives. Hey. Spooky month. Spooky. Doodle doo. Like in Wayne's World. Doodle doo. Exactly. Doodle Things are scary. Things are spooky. Do these um, little costumes look familiar to anybody? I never thought we'd be able to pull them out again, but here we are. Yeah, Shay and I are wearing our waffle costumes, which if you've watched our Shrek Fest content, you should recognize. <sighs> R.I.P. yet again. Yeah, we're still super depressed about the end of Shrek Fest, uh, but I'm so glad we got to go to the last two years of it. How special. Honestly, yeah, like we got so <laughs> lucky. Imagine if we just never went because we're like, it'll just, we'll right, just go whenever. Be around and forever. We met new friends that way. We got new listeners that way. We realized... A lot of like hidden potential during those trips. I feel yeah, a lot we of resourcefulness. Really unlocked some skills. We did, like true skills, um, and we hope to do it again someday. So anyway, the waffles are kind of what they were our identifier mm -hmm. during both of those trips. So we're so glad that we can wear them again for something so particular and fitting. Uh, I mean, for today's movie. But before we get into the movie, you know, we like to chit chat. True. So Shay, how stoked are you for Halloween this Dude, I'm year? Fucking psyched for our costume. Mm. But usually I always wear at least two. True. So we do one. We do our couple's costume. Like as we've you done all every know. year. <laughs> yeah, which we always are like every year, and then it's like four years, and we're like every you know what, year. I was thinking about it today because I was listening to, you know, one of our old episodes mm -hmm. where we were talking about it. I want to go over them again. Because it's important. I feel like it's important every Halloween season to be reminded of Halloween's past. So the first one we did was... Um, the Bullies from yeah, Hocus Pocus. Jay and Ice. Which is iconic. Which was iconic as fuck. The second one was Trunchbull and uh, Miss Honey. Also iconic as fuck. I cannot get over how into Shay's Trunchbull <laughs> costume everyone was. Uh, yeah, I, I was spanking people with my riding crop left and right. The look in people's eyes. <laughs> I was like, do I have to leave? At your own house? Yeah, I was like, your this own party? Is weird. <laughs> no, but look, you were, you, I just, I remember this moment where I was just like, you know, I was kind of like in the middle of a circle of people being like, woo, and I look over at you and you're just like looking at me like a proud mom. <laughs> like, wow. <I'm> just like, <laughs> everyone understands. <laughs> well, it's, I mean, I, your costume is so amazing because Trunchbull's outfit in the movie is like not traditionally sexy. Right. But the outfit you were able to put together via thrifting was so perfect and so hot. Thank you so much. Yeah, and what's crazy is, and if you guys have seen the picture, maybe we'll like enter it somewhere on here. I don't know if, if we'll do that, but um, it, it's somewhere floating around the internet. But the skirt and the jacket perfectly match, and I got them separate times. It was so like cool. it was so wild. The only things that I didn't thrift were the socks and my riding crop. And but the, the belt was perfect. I mean, it didn't yeah. have like the teeth like Trunchbulls, but it was like uh, I should have. I didn't even think similar, about it. But like everyone instantly knew you were Trunchbull. Yeah, it was it was sick. And I mean, Stacy looked gorgeous, Miss Honey. Miss Honey, especially with the little chocolate box, the little chocolate box, the thrifted box mm -hmm. that we put truffle. I mean, it was just it was legendary. So there's that one, and then the pandemic happened. Mm -hmm. So the third one was well, we did. Um, and Nicole Smith and, and her Nicole husband. Smith and her husband and her late husband. But I feel like we're skipping one. We did well. Okay, and we did Wayne's World last year, mm -hmm. but we also did the sexy villains. So I was Fat Bastard, and you were oh, Doctor yeah. Evil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this year will actually be our six. Although when we were in high school, we did um, the Powerpuff Girls. Yes, which were very easy and very cute costumes. So we, like DIY AF. Was that the only one we did in high school? So technically, this year will so. be our seventh. Wow, good call. I didn't even yeah. think about high school. Yeah. So I mean, 
Shouts out to mm-hmm. us. This year's will be great. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm it's so stoked. It's something that's so near and dear to our hearts. Uh, truly, it's like, I don't know. Once we start, it's really, I don't know. In our adult life, once we started like really creating consistently mm-hmm. was when we started wearing our costumes. True. So it kind of marks how long we've been in like almost a business partnership. You a know what I mean? Creative partnership. Yeah, creative and business partnership mm-hmm. in a way. You know what I mean? Well, I think it's more creative because when we it's were so doing creative. the Hocus Pocus thing, we didn't really have any business interests. That's true. We <laughs> were, yeah, you're right. We were writing at that yeah, time. Yeah, that's true. So mm-hmm. like, yeah. Now we're like investing our own money into our creative process. So please it's subscribe like, to our Patreon. Please, holy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to sponsor us. Please. We or do video you, now. Yeah, if you know it. Yeah, if you know anyone who's interested in two baddies uh, changing the world, um, <laughs> <laughs> then please. Who are humble. Who are so <laughs> humble and like so sweet and kind really of but never bring key. up how great they are. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I just love this month, man. It also gets colder during this month. Thank God. Thank fuck. Yes. Are you fucking? Are you fucked? It's been real it's tough been out there. Brutal. It was 125 degrees in July. Not okay. I can't do this anymore. I really can't. I need mm-hmm. to be in the snow. I need to be in the elements and not in like the desert tortoise elements. I need <laughs> to be like in the cold mm-hmm. experiencing things. Mm-hmm. Um, but what about you? Are you so excited? Yes. And my favorite part of Halloween is watching the movies. So yes. I just love that we're already getting into it. I like that this kind of like forces me to watch a certain number of classics and then I get inspired to watch other things. I was going to ask you if you ever watch like horror movies during Not this time. Not really. I will watch the ones I must for the podcast. Yeah. But I really do like the corny like Halloween-y ones that make I me feel too. like Halloween vibes. Like Hocus Pocus, Halloween Town, of course. You know what's an underrated one that we have to do next year? Mm-hmm. Casper meets Wendy, dude. We should, yeah, because we did Casper last year. Yeah, and Casper's so good, but Casper meets Wendy was actually, I watched that one before I watched Casper, mm. and I fucking love that movie. It's also, I think, Hilary Duff's first, like, actual role ever. Yeah, and we haven't done any Hilary Duff movies yet. Yeah, that's Which is fucked. Ooh, that is so wow. fucked. Wow. A Cinderella story needs to happen next. Yes, I don't that care. That cracks me up. Oh, my God. Sleepover month. We there have to we watch go. it during sleepover mm-hmm. month. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I'm. Uh, we love a theme, mm-hmm. so Halloween is just. Mm-hmm. Per- well, we'll make a theme out of anything. We and I really like carving pumpkins too. Me too. Or like decorating pumpkins, anything with a pumpkin. And I haven't done it for years, so you and I should do we it. We should. I like. I try to do one every year. Okay, let's mm-hmm. do it soon. Yeah. And actually, I just learned something I didn't realize. Pumpkins are used spiritually to like protect mm. and like bring good fortune. So that's why people started putting them outside of their houses. Smart. During specifically this season, just for, you know, like farming and whatever. Mm. But also because spiritually the veil gets thin. So that's mm. why like spirits are more prevalent. Popping off. You're popping off at this time. So got to love a pumpkin. You know. And speaking of spirits popping off. Yeah. Our movie for today. Yeah. Is Scooby Doo? Scooby Dooby Doo, where, where are you? We got There's some work to do now. now. <laughs> work? Who works? He's a dog. <laughs> Let him be unemployed. Dude, literally a Great Dane straight show and eating sandwiches. This is hustle culture, okay? This is yeah. what it's done to us. Yeah, Even don't dogs have to work. Yeah, this is canine abuse on a different Ugh. fucking level, baby. Anyway. Well, I'm ready for some corporate bullshit if anyone else is. I am so ready for corporate bullshit. I love this movie so much. I can't wait to learn more. Well, it's it's a long one, so let's Yay. fucking rage. I want to learn. I want to learn. Okay, here we go. Corporate bullshit. Some bullshit. All right. So, oh, wait. I have it on my phone. I'm dumb. bro. <laughs> I'm a hot, dumb idiot. Okay, here Emphasis we go. Emphasis on hot, honey. Okay, here we go. Scooby-Doo. Where are you? (laughs) Is it called Scooby-Doo, Where Are You, or is it just called Scooby-Doo? I think it's just Scooby-Doo, but the original cartoon was Mm -hmm. Scooby-Doo, Where Are You? So, Scooby-Doo is a 2002 American mystery adventure comedy film based on the long-running animated franchise of the same name. Now, Scooby-Doo was created in 1969, but it first aired in 1976, and it ran... Wait... 
So they took like seven years. I guess that's crazy. I know. <laughs> I read the, and I made. I, I was the same. I was like, wait, really? And I read it like multiple times. Huh. I was like, okay. Um, they must have known it was going to be a hit. I know. Uh, well, you know what? It started with like different main characters oh. and like a different type of dog. Mm. And it took them a while to like get it actually huh. out there. A lot of people didn't want it. Really? They didn't want it. They were worried about. They weren't about, ready. They were worried about, <laughs> yeah, they were worried about like violence and huh. shit, which like this show is not violent really mm. at all. It's more silly. Mm. So I think th in the development oh. stage, they had to like Maybe they thought it was going to be Yeah. So they made it kind of more kitschy and like cute and like a little spoopy rather mm. than like actual violence but so it first aired in 1976 and oh boy they filmed for okay so they like ran until 1986 then mm. presented a spin-off featuring the characters as children Aww. from 88 to 91 cute. then there were two reboots from 2002 to 2008 of okay. the original series and then <laughs> Cartoon Network started further reboots okay. until 2018. So I think I watched the Scooby-Doo Where Are You version yeah. as a kid a lot because they would play those old episodes on Cartoon Network. Yes. Like really late and really early. Yep. And I loved them. Oh, me too. I was so into them. They're so good. All the characters' personalities are so mm -hmm. cute and different. I love their relationships with each other. Obviously, Scooby-Doo is just like... Icon. The cutest fucking character in the my entire hero. world. And Shaggy is mm -hmm. my man's with a mm -hmm. Z. He's one of my ultimate zaddies. Yeah, and it's so comforting because it's so formulaic, but in the yeah. best way. Totally. And it's always like, I don't know, I feel like you get a hunch of who it is, but like you don't always know. No. It's like, it's cute. Um, and they're still on HBO Max right now. Nice. Unbelievably. Nice. Like they're still going. Mm -hmm. um, on October 24th, 2003, it became the longest running cartoon in history. Whoa. When a Scooby-Doo Halloween episode aired, which was the 350th episode. Wow. Now, other cartoons have surpassed that since then, like The Simpsons and like the Family Simpsons Guy. The Simpsons will probably beat them all. Yeah, like so many other ones n since like now are mm. coming out with like a billion. Uh, SpongeBob mm. have surpassed. But at the time, in, uh, 2003, it was the longest running cartoon. Um, okay, so it was released June fourteenth, two thousand two. Mm. Directed by she's a Gemini. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, directed by Raja Raymond Gosnell. Okay. What a name! Wow. This dude directed Never Been Kissed, <gasps> Big Mama's House. Fuck yes. Both Scooby Doo movies, Home Alone. Three, which is the best one, dude. I don't think I've seen it. I fucking <laughs> love Home Alone three. Where is that one set? Um, it's in like someone's neighborhood. Okay. I don't know what's it. Probably Chicago. Pro not Macaulay Culkin? No, it's okay. another little kid. What else was he in? I actually don't know. But, oh no. The umbrella. Umbrella um, alert. Do you like their tropical drinks? Fucking fantastic. Yes. Anyways. For Scooby Doo, Scooby Island. Of course. It looks gorge. But, um, I don't know. But it's a really, it's about like a sick kid. Like Aww. a kid that gets like the cold. And he can't mm. go out and, like, do all the shit with his friends. And Classic then, like. Classic princess bride. Yeah, and house robbers. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And house robbers are, like, Ooh. you know, like the first one. Anyway, yeah. it's really, really good. Um, okay. Now, the music was composed by David Newman. Hey. So I was like, let me look into this guy. Mr. Newman. Who has composed music for eight of the movies that we've covered. What? Including Tommy Boy, bro. Wow, what range? I know. Like, so many of the, like, Matilda, Whoa. Tommy Boy. Eight BBW Eight BBWs. Yep. This guy. Wow. I looked at his whole thing, and Who I was like, I'm thought? counting eight of them. Um, he's also the cousin of Randy Newman. Another movie guy, heavy hitter, you got a friend in me. His whole family, they're all fucking composers. That's like, so cool. It's crazy. It's, re it's really, really cool. Um, the running time is 86 minutes, yet again. Uh, wah, wah, wah. Yes. Um, mom, 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 mom. It's starring, as we talked about last episode, I believe, Freddie Prinze Jr., Sarah Michelle Gellar, Matthew Lillard, Linda Cardinelli. Uh, Cardelli? Cardellini. Sorry, Cardellini. Linda Cardellini. I'm getting hungry. I'm like, I can't read. Um, <laughs> Neil Fanning is Scooby-Doo, iconic. Uh, and Rowan Atkinson, a.k.a. Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean. Uh, this is like Monk being in 13 Ghosts. Dude, straight up. Although I really <laughs> like Mr. Bean in this. I did too. It's so weird to see him speak at all. Mm -hmm. You know? It's mm -hmm. just strange. And he's still like pretty goofy in this film. Yeah, he is. Mm -hmm. He's like, he has some serious parts with some goofy parts. 
Um, the budget was 84 mil. Nice. The box That's office, a lot. Whoa. 84 million? 84 mil. That's more than track. Yeah. And the box office, 275.7 million. Nice. Wild. Wow. Uh, Rotten Tomatoes. The critic score is 32%. Get the fuck, Get the out, fuck of out of my house. I am angry. 32%. Dude, I know. I it's was like, there's no great fucking way. Movie. I know. What are they? Do They're you know why? dumb. They're dumb. They're dumb idiots. Did, I mean, I'm sure you didn't read all the reviews, but like, did you get a snippet of why everyone's so dumb? No, but I did. Re- well, you'll we'll get to favorites <laughs> in a second. You're gonna freak <laughs> Hold out. Hold me back. <laughs> you're gonna freak out. This <laughs> is this is his most. I could feel the rage. Yeah, no, you're gonna be mad. The audience score was only forty percent. Zoinks! I couldn't I'm believe. Flummoxed. Sometimes I'll openly be like, I agree, or like, I get it. Yeah. yeah. I genuinely do not get those scores. Me neither. But luckily, I feel with our generation, we made it a cult classic because everyone loves that movie. And I'm everyone. sorry, it made over $200 million. Yeah. So clearly, people fucking liked it. Yeah. At, le- or at the very least, it was interesting enough that people were like telling other people, I mean, word of mouth, hello. Mm-hmm. Like, unbelievable. Truly I've always so watched stupid. this movie too. Like, I've watched this movie. Dozens of times. Yeah, it's really like, I comforting. Usually, I watch it at least once a year. Dude, it's so good. It's so <sighs> trash so that they okay. were so lame. Sorry, go on. Okay, I wrote a whole paragraph on Ebert, okay? <laughs> he gave it, do you want to guess? Oh, no, one and a half stars. One. Ah! I yeah. cannot. That's lower than the Sandler films. Yep. Yep. <sighs> His thing was basically that he was pissed. Was he skeoid? No, okay. he was pissed that as a as a proud lifelong non fan of Scooby Doo, okay, that uh, he should have been able to walk into the movie without any prior knowledge and know what was going on, which you should anyway. What was he confused right? by? He was so confused. <laughs> what is he? You don't need prior knowledge for this movie. He also went on to say, "quote." <laughs> oh God. I have two quotes. So this is the first one. Quote. <laughs> As for myself scrutinizing the screen helplessly for an angle of approach, <laughs> one thing above all caught my attention. The director, Raja Gosnell, has a thing about big breasts. <laughs> what? He went on and on and on about the extras, every, every like main character shot of big titties. Bro, oh. you are out of your fucking mind. Oh That's no one's fault that you're focusing on their titties. Like, what are you <laughs> fucking talking? Also, why are you complaining? You're a fucking <laughs> moron, bro. Ebert is such a fucking virgin loser. I'm so I can't stand puzzled his by that take. Because sometimes I sometimes I will <laughs> agree that you can get distracted by a pair of bazoingas. Not in this movie. No. There is one scene with Velma where like a spirit is coming out of her chest. Yes. And I am like, wow, nice situation. But that's like But every that one frame enough for Roger Ebert to not bring anything. That was the first thing he brought up. And is he talking about Sarah Michelle Geller? Because I feel like she's not like she's totally like normal. It's not like they're like huge and distracting no, or whatever. He, he was mostly talking about like everyone else in the movie, That's like every so extra. Weird. And I was like, dude, um, I'm gay as fuck, and I didn't notice that at you're all. You're telling on yourself, man. Yeah, I'm like, bro, you're just a zorny loser. Sorry. Okay, and he thought that that was a bad thing. Yeah, he's like complaining about it. The second quote I have is, this is nuts. This is nuts. Not, I did not in a million years expect you to say that. I know. The second oh quote God. is, you're going to die. This movie exists in a closed universe, and the rest of us are aliens. <laughs> the internet was invented so you can find someone else's review of Scooby-Doo, start surfing. And then he ended it. It was like one paragraph of all that shit, and then he was done. I've never seen a shorter review of any movie we've ever covered. So he's like, I don't know what's happening. Yeah. There's too many glorious titties. Yes. Goodbye? Yeah. He's like, start, literally start surfing. Like, okay, fucking attitude ass bitch. Oh, I guess then maybe you should just close up shop since other people are doing movie, movie reviews. Yeah. Like, I guess we don't fucking need you. Yeah, he's like, the internet exists so you can look up another person reviewing it. It won't be me. Like, okay, bitch. Like, I also he's such a nerd. I also the fact that he thinks you need background knowledge even if you're not a fan of scooby-doo that's what i'm saying you know that they solve mysteries that's all you need you don't even need to know that i don't think you need to know anything they're literally called mystery incorporated and that's all you need to know (laughs) from there you can use context clues and he was the first thing 
literally he brought up was like, I went in with no knowledge and I've never been a fan and I should know what's going on, but I didn't. It's, he even says it's a closed universe. No, it's not. It is so clear what's happening. <laughs> really you are is. so out of your fucking mind, Ebert. And may I remind y'all that if you join our Patreon as a $20 a month subscriber, you get a very specific flavor. Ebert related shirt. Ebert related t shirt, if you will, if you please. So go check us out on Patreon. Anyway, sucks. S U X X. I'm wow. He's such I an idiot. I really did. I thought he was going to be like it was too predictable no. or it was like too cute. Not I don't know what's happening. Oh no. He hated it. And there's too many breasts. Yeah, he he hated the breasts. <laughs> he hated the titties. He oh, hated man. not knowing what was going on. <laughs> quote quote. It's like, "Hey buddy, watch the movie." <laughs> then you'll fucking know. The opening scene is them explaining everything. <laughs> yeah. They literally go in. It, they show it in like a perfect <laughs> little package. They put it on a nice little bow. They're like, this is what we do. We're no longer doing this anymore. And then it moves on. He could not wrap his <laughs> fucking little dumb ass Neanderthal fucking brain, virgin loser ass, around oh the God. simplest concept I've ever heard of in my life. Wow. Fucking freak. That's incredible. Of that might be my favorite Ebert review just because of how terrible it is. This movie exists in a closed universe and the rest of us are aliens. He's so dramatic, dude. <laughs> I could just talk about how much I hate him forever. Oh, wow. Okay. We should probably move on. Okay. <laughs> but. Although wow. I'm going to be laughing thinking about He's it. He's an idiot. He's a fucking idiot. Anyway. I'm shocked. Also, it definitely passed the Bechdel test. Really? All three tests. Really? Passed, yep. I'm kind of surprised, but I thought maybe it would fail. No, it definitely passed. Nice. Um, because of, I think specifically, um, Velma and Daphne talking about, like, Daphne, they're both of their roles mm, in the group. Mm -hmm. um, nice. So, yeah, definitely Hell passed. Yeah. So I'm like, fuck yeah, dude. That's awesome. All of our Halloweens kind of, they mm, all kind of passed the Bechdel yeah. test. It's interesting. Okay, my synopsis is, Mystery Incorporated, a group of four mystery-solving homies and their talking Great Dane Scooby-Doo, are all brought together after a two-year breakup to investigate a mystery at a popular Scooby-themed tropical island resort. Does everyone get that, or is that... Is that, like, too hard? Or do you feel like an alien? Do you feel like there's too many titties in the room? <laughs> um, also, I have a couple fun facts. Ooh, okay. Okay. So, number one, Mike Myers was brought on to co-write this. Really? In, I think, 98. Yeah, nice. 98. Okay. Um, and it didn't end up happening. He was also going to be, like, in the movie. Oh, uh, maybe he was going to be, like, Mr. Bean's character. Yeah, he was going to be Shaggy. He's going to be Shaggy? He's going to be Shaggy. Huh. And I'm so glad it didn't happen. No, Matthew he was not Lillard Mike. is Shaggy. Yeah, I'm like, dude. Absolutely. Mike Myers is not, like, a tall, skinny, like, stoner dude. Like, Matthew Lillard. There's no one better mm -hmm. in a million years. And so. let's be honest, Mike Myers would have made him Scottish. Yeah, yeah, he would have <laughs> made him something. Yeah, he would have made it wouldn't have worked. So I'm glad that that didn't go down. Um, also, the name Scooby Doo was created after the producer heard Frank Sinatra's song "Strangers in the Night," mm. where Frank sings "Dooby Doo." Ah. So the guy was like, "Oh, Scooby Doo," because his name was going to be something different. That sucked. So I'm glad <laughs> it didn't Scooby it. is a great name. It's fun to say. It sounds silly, Scooby. I know Scooby Doo. And also, I learned about Scooby-Doo's family tree. <gasps> okay. Okay. Can I guess? Oh, yeah. Is Scrappy-Doo his nephew? Yes, that's okay. true. Um, then I feel like I remember one other one from the show. That's like his cousin? I don't know about any cousins. Okay, go on. That's all I got. So Scooby-Doo <laughs> is a triplet. Oh, wow. Um, he is part of a triplet trio from his parents' Dada do and Momsy do. Clever. So cute. <laughs> His direct sibs names are Skippy do. Skippy. Dooby do. Dooby do. <laughs> and oh yeah, because he's the third triplet. Dirt. And then he also has three <laughs> others. So I was like, who's the third? Like, and he fucking there. is. You fuck. And then he has three <laughs> other siblings named Yabadoo, oh. Howdy do, and Ruby do. So he's one of six. Wow. Okay. And that's all I got. But I still wanted to look it up because I thought it was cool. That's beautiful. Yeah, so do we know which which kid Scrappy is? Is he Ruby Doo's son? I don't know that, actually. Okay. I should have looked that no, up. No. But he is his nephew. Okay. Cool. I'm going to put my money on Ruby Doo. Uh, me too. I just got a feeling. Yeah, I have a, yeah. Ruby Doo oh, is out hunch. here fucking for real. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. That's why. Everybody knows. Ebert. Uh, 
Uh, I don't, I'm just going to keep bringing the word up this whole episode. Anyway, but yeah, that's it for corporate bullshit, guys. Yeah. Okay. Literally, my first note is such a smart beginning. Yes. Explains everything. everything. That is literally my first Dude. note. <laughs> Again. <laughs> How? Like, I don't <gasps> understand, dude. Oh, man. But no, it yeah, it's really cool. And also the fact that it's like the mystery of the blah, blah, blah. Like, yes. what is it? The hunting ghost or the floating ghost? It's the uh, Luna ghost. Luna ghost, right. I love that they they framed it exactly like the episode. It's exactly like the episode. It's so cute. And it's like, yeah, they're solving this mystery in a spooky factory. I love a conveyor belt scene. Yeah. Full of peril. I feel like you got that in The Grinch. Yes, yes. You got that in Star Wars movies. Like, there's just something to that. Oh, yeah. A fun, exciting way to start. Mm Mm-hmm. And really creepy villain. Yeah. Like, really, really Really, creepy. mm -hmm. Um, And he's he's on the posters, too. So you think he's, like, the main villain, but he's not. He's not. But, I mean, a perfect fucking person to put on were, were you into the show as a kid i watched it okay. i definitely watched it more at like annabelle and city's house my gotcha. grandparents mm-hmm. watched it a lot we weren't huge like cartoon network kids though okay. a lot of those shows as i think you know my mom nixed she'd not let us watch a lot Even of those Scooby shows Scooby Doo, she was cool with okay. but like we just didn't we weren't on cartoon network mm-hmm. a lot mm-hmm. um but we did watch a lot of those like older shows uh at my grandparents house okay Tom and Jerry mm. and all that shit. Wasn't like so, Hanna Barbera? Stones. Wasn't was that the name? That's like a lot of cartoons, yeah. And I yeah. want to say Scooby Doo is in that mm-hmm. umbrella. You also watched a lot of Johnny Bravo too. I fucking I love Johnny Bravo. Yeah, oh, he's so funny. I bet it doesn't age well at all. But when I was a kid, I thought it slapped. He's a gorgy, handsome man. Dexter's Laboratory. Oh, the I love. Girls. I do love that show. I I loved it. I was very much a TV kid, like. We got the TV guide that came in, like, the paper. Yeah. And I would literally, like, plan out my TV watching week. Like, I was so organized. I was like, I will wake up. I will eat breakfast. I will watch Dexter's Laboratory. And then I'll watch. She's (laughs) like, I'm on a schedule, people. (laughs) I I had nothing else to do. No, I love that about you. (laughs) Honestly, you still schedule out when you're going to watch certain things now. Yes, I'm a schedule lover. You have to Mm -hmm. in order to maintain your life work balance, which we talked about last episode. Thank you. Um... But I have a good amount of notes. What about you? I have a ton of notes. Okay, here we go. I wrote, Ghost is creepy, and they allude that he's assaulting Daphne? Yes, he is. I mean, a lot of people try to assault Daphne, and it's not cool. That's fucked. There is, yeah, I'm going to jump in and say, this is like a super feminist movie. I think so. It I really... It's a lot of girl power. A lot of girl power. Mm-hmm. A lot of... It, it's literally talking about mansplaining, mm-hmm. men taking credit for women's work and me- uh-huh. women's ideas. That's like the first main plot yeah and one of the central plot points is velma yeah saying you're not giving me enough recognition Mm -hmm. you're an asshole yeah i'm quitting i'm literally quitting i'm saying bye-bye yeah and fred's like like so dumb doesn't realize it yeah and daphne is also like i'm not getting taken seriously so i'm gonna be able to kick everybody's ass Mm -hmm. because i'm sick of this shit again so fucking rad Mm -hmm. like women power baby yeah the female characters honestly like Fred's kind of a, he's fine, but he's, he's not the strongest character. No, it, I, I, I like it like that. I'm yeah, glad Yeah, I think not. that's a cool way to do it. Yeah, me too. And Shaggy's pretty, you know, Shaggy and Scooby are stars. Those two together, magic. I will say Ebert's only thing that he liked was Scooby. He loved Scooby? He loved Scooby. Okay. <laughs> Which is like, yeah, duh. It's <laughs> Scooby fucking too. Oh my he's God. He's likable as fuck. Yeah, he's like, the oh, it, he was like, it should have all been a cartoon because everyone else sucked, basically. And I'm like, no, they fucking didn't. But okay. I wonder part of it is like, Sarah Michelle Gellar and Freddie Prinze Jr. were so popular. Yeah. I wonder if he's just being a little contrarian and being like, eh, they Probably. Mm-hmm. Typical virgin loser. Like and they have crazy chemistry. As we talked about on our I Know What You Did Last Summer episode, this isn't where they met. They met on that set. Yeah. But you can tell they got a lot of, a lot of love for each other. And they're still it's married so and, cute. like, so happy. I know. And so I love how they're cool. like, fuck all the critics. We told you. Yeah. Like <laughs> yeah. I, I love them. They're mm. so cute. Um, but, yeah, you could see their chemistry. Through. Although there's a whole thing, and I'm sure everyone here knows about this. But, like, Velma and Daphne, bro. Together. (laughs) (laughs) And I think, I do think Fred is gay. I really do think he's gay. Mm -hmm. They're like, and Fred knows how to accessorize. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, wink. We know what that Mm -hmm. means, you know. That's what I think anyways. Yeah, it's very queer coded in many ways. The movie's not really. Although, I will say, the thing that, uh, 
Velma always says, she's like, Jasmine's so beautiful. Mm-hmm. I'm like, ah, that's You're me like, talking about Stacey. Uh-huh. I'm like, yeah, I see what's <laughs> going on here. So cute. Uh, but, but I really yeah. like, to your point, like, the m- they could have made it, like, the main point is the romance. And oh, yeah. I think that would have been an easy way to do it. Totally. But I really liked how the main focus was everyone in the group getting credit. Yes. Which they all deserve because mm-hmm. they all, and that's the other thing, too, is, like, not like, each one of them is not going to solve every mystery. Mm-hmm. They all are different, you know, pogs in this system that works really well. We all have different strengths, mm-hmm. people. That's another part of, uh, that's another plot point, I think. Mm-hmm. Another message. Yes, definitely. That we all need to take away. We're not going to be everything all the time. Right. We have to find people that fit our little nooks and crannies. Mm-hmm. Make and us build better. them up and not take all the, the glory. Exactly. That's all I'm saying. Um... I also, uh, yeah, I wrote off top of perfect casting. Like, every fucking mm-hmm. person is mm-hmm. beautiful. And it's so cartoon-esque, which I know is the point. Mm-hmm. But I'm so glad that they did it that way. Because they could have made it, like, really serious. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, it's a gritty Scooby-Doo. Fuck no. Like, no, go fuck no, yourself. Thank you. No, I'm glad that they did it the way that mm-hmm. they did it. It's very cute. Yeah, half my notes were like, I love how this looks. Like, Me too, I yeah. love the island. I love the music. I love the outfits. Like, yeah. visually, it's so cool. Oh, they, they nailed it. And it makes sense how they say the budget because it, it shows. I feel like it's all on the screen. Like, oh, yeah. They put a ton of work into the sets and the costumes and the action. And, and also, yeah, like the CGI or whatever the – it would have been CGI yeah. that they used for him. That wasn't used a whole lot at that time. And he still looks good. Like, you're not like, ooh, oh, boy. Like, this like looks some fun. of the demon dogs, like, sometimes I'd be like, eh, this isn't aging well. Yeah. But Scooby-Doo himself looks amazing. Some of the scenes where he's, like, tearing up yeah. or, like – Different like facial expressions he makes mm-hmm. that like like <laughs> there's this part where like they're having this like farting contest literally, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and Daphne like walks in and then uh, Shaggy's still doing it because he thinks that no one else is in there and Scooby's trying to warn him anyway. She's like, "What is going on?" And he goes, <laughs> "Yeah, Scoob." And it's and then Scooby is like, "It's so amazing." I just oh god, they he's did such so a good job. He's so cute. Like there's he's a scene so where cool. um the villain is like telling Scooby Doo that he's gonna be a sacrifice, yeah. and he says it like it's really cool. Rack-a-way. And Scooby Doo goes, "Sacrifice!" And his little face is so cute. And I'm like, it's hard to make an animated dog look so cute, especially like in a human world. Totally, they nailed it. They nailed it. He always reminds me of uh, R.I.P. to Bugs, but he Sweet always Bugs. he reminds me of Bugsy so much. Who was not a Great Dane, but he was gigantic. Yeah, he was like <laughs> he was a mix though. He could have been part Great Dane. True. Honestly, I would, I could see it mm-hmm. for real. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so good. They they fucking nailed it. Also, I love that Pamela Anderson is in like the first scene. Oh it's my so god, sick. that's pro- we have this theory that Roger Ebert only watches the first. 10 to 15 minutes of a film. Big titties. And I didn't even think away. about that. So now that we put this theory to the test. Wait a minute. He sees Pam Anderson and he goes, <laughs> Disgusting. Big bazongas? <laughs> I'm at it. I'm like, you're and so he, lame, dude. And then he logs off. And c- in confusion. I truly think <laughs> he's just a loser virgin. <laughs> he's mad he can't get big titties, so he's angry at them? Um, just enjoy. Like, yeah. the rest of us, you fucking freak. And anyway. it's funny, because she's really the only, like, celebrity <laughs> in besides, the movie, right? Besides Sugar Ray. Oh, my God, you're right. Sorry. Playing no himself. disrespect to Sugar Ray. <laughs> What's his name? Mike McGrath. Mark? Or not McGrath. Mark McGrath. McGrath? Mark McGrath. Okay, yeah, I think that's right. It's like Mike McGrath. It's Mark something. McGrath. Ma- ma- something. It is Mark McGrath. Okay. You're right. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. So, yeah, two celebrities. My bad. Yeah, but, yeah, she's, like, the first yes. one. Yes. Um, I also, this is where, like, we start seeing Fred be a fucking asshole. So he's like, mm-hmm. I do a lot of teamwork. And I'm like, ew. That's uh, such a funny line, though. It's so good, <laughs> I though. do an incredible amount of teamwork. Yeah, we're like, everyone, everyone's just, like, staring like, Rrr. Yeah, he's like an asshole. asshole. Um, also, janitors always get a bad rap because, they like, do. the beginning scene, it shows the janitor, you know, being the guy that, like, was mm-hmm. dressed up as a ghost. Bro, why are people in the service industry always fucked on? That's why Ernest Scared Stupid was so important. Exactly. Garbage man turned hero. Mm hmm. That's what we need. That's what we need in this Not world. Not janitor is always a creepy villain. Yeah, I'm like, um, how about they're just chill people? Sometimes they win America's Got Talent, like Ooh. this past year. Oh, really? This re- yeah, this really cute janitor won America's Got Talent. Aww. I don't watch what it. Was his talent? Singing. Oh, he's like, Whoa. dude, he sounds like fucking Journey. Oh, okay. Don't stop believing. Interesting. 
So good. I don't even watch that show. I just watched You're a clip like, of it on know. TikTok. I just know. And I, I was watching him sing yesterday, bawling my Aww, eyes out. That's so sweet. He's so cute. Okay, anyways, he's a hero. Okay, that's probably why I felt like so strongly about this. Mm-hmm. Like, he would never do that. Anyway, them talking about food made me realize <laughs> that you and I are shagging. I <laughs> wrote that. I go, we are <laughs> shagging and Scooby. They literally like, we're not solving mysteries. We're not doing that anymore. We don't go anywhere that's so scary. In their van, we would have that van. One million percent. They have like a, a cute little van. It's hella comfy. It's full of snacks. They're always cooking in it. Yeah. Yes. Dream life. Yeah. Like on the beach, hanging out. Like they're like, no, we're not doing anything. Mm-hmm. They're like, you get free food. And they're like, we'll consider. <laughs> exactly. I was like, that was literally us in Mexico. That's what I like, wrote. Like, roll you I can r- eat. <laughs> a roll you can root. <laughs> that was us. And I literally wrote that. That's so <laughs> funny. Um, I also wrote that. Um, before it cuts to them, like on the beach, he's like, uh, he's like, guess we'll do what we do best. And then it cuts to pass the duchy to the yeah, left hand side. I'm like, woo, woo, woo. But yeah, that's where I was. But they knew from. what they were doing riding Shaggy in the 60s and 70s. He was a stoner. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. That's they both like, were, honestly. Like, that's my favorite name. Mm-hmm. I'm like, Mary Jane. And just always hitting the munchies. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. I love every second of it. Um, also, there was a Diet Coke sighting in the van. Oh, I didn't even notice. Mm-hmm. After your going. own heart. I know. Like, damn. I always have to mention it every movie. Uh, and then I wrote... Okay. Spring break on Scoopy Island. I would fucking love it. Do you know how many fat asses and fishnets and, like, spider bikinis? That oh, there would be? yeah. Why doesn't do Spooky that. Island exist? It should. It should be, like, its own water park or something like we got the fire festival no we need spooky island we do need to be a (laughs) whoa i got too excited (laughs) it's to be a spooky themed spring break destination yes uh, immediately uh, people in our generation would eat that shit up i know that like it was filmed right in australia i think it was at the warner bros like theme park okay smart um which i believe if i'm not mistaken that's where they're making this whole like um, Wizard of Oz theme park too, Ooh. which is kind of fucking cool right oh, now. I didn't know that. But they made like a roller coaster of like the Spooky Island. <gasps> they did. There. Yep. Oh my gosh, fun. Um, and that's where they filmed too, which nice. is really cool. But I think having like a whole like theme park of Spooky Island would be mm-hmm. like a land. Yeah, and th- and the fact that you have to get to it like via boat, so it feels a little uh, remote. That'd be so exclusive. Cool. I was just like, damn, Spring Break would be so fucking lit, and then Ebert would be really goddamn mm-hmm. pissed. And did you notice all the rides were Disneyland puns? No. He's like, it's a scary world. The oh. Splatterhorn. Oh, my God, no, I didn't even notice that. Uh-huh. That's so I cute. I thought that was very cute. That is really cute. For all of those who don't know, I used to work at Disneyland. Uh, how that dude taps her head. Why do men fucking do that? I don't mm. remember who tapped her head. Was it the Voodoo Ritual guy? Because he's my next note, who I do love. He's like seasoning the chicken. Oh no, it wasn't oh, him. Okay, it was it was one of the annoying guys. He wasn't annoying. There was okay. like another annoying guy that like was it Rowan? Maybe it was Rowan. Mm. Anyway, mm. some dude. Or no, it was the dude, the fire show guy that oh, like tapped yeah, he sucks. He sucks. Velma on the head. Yeah, and I'm like. I've gotten tapped on the yeah, head by men in the me. last couple of years, like yeah. within the last two years. I think I would like, yeah, have a my ex did that to you. Automatic remember? reaction. My ex did that to you, and you got fucking pissed, and I don't blame you. Did I slap his hand away? I'm sure you did. <laughs> I, I was like too I embarrassed would. to like function <laughs> at that point. I just went. I don't and I just, like, love sl- people touching me. Period. Yeah, that was, it was a long time ago, okay. but that was still like fucking disgusting, insane. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, I love the guy <laughs> who calls Scooby, and he's like, "Uh, I got a bag of yeah. hamburgers in the forest <laughs> for you. Just going to the dark, scary part of the forest." And Scooby's like, "Okay." I and put like, us I'm trap, like, dude. Literally <laughs> us. A bag of hamburgers. Yes. No matter what, we're going. I don't care where it is. I don't care what it, what it is. Yeah, we're going. We're that. friggin' there. I wrote, typical white woman blaming a black man who's literally warning her. <laughs> I know, it's so funny. He goes, whatever you do, don't go up to that castle. She she's goes, like, so you want me to go? And he goes, don't you hear what I just said? Do not go up there. Yeah, and she's like, or maybe it's because you think. I'm like, how about <laughs> he's telling you to not fucking go, you and moron. I do love when he goes, uh, guess what? Purple's a fall color, and it's the middle <laughs> of May. I love him. Oh, he's great. Mm-hmm. And he's fine as hell. Yes. Um, 
walking through the ride reminds me of Backstage Disney, a.k.a. I hella bet. haunted, bro. Yes. And it's such a Scooby-Doo thing, like, to be going to, yeah, like, a haunted ride, and there's hidden passageways, mm. and there's a pulley food that comes alive. A pulley book. Those Would turkeys? you ever want one of those bookshelves? Yes. Absolutely. I, I could see that for you. Oh, yeah. I could see that in this house. I'm thinking upstairs, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Dude. Because people don't even know there's, like, another room back there. That's what you should do. <gasps> Wouldn't that be sick? I never thought about that. Yeah. Holy fuck. Uh-huh. That'd be so uh-huh. sick. Uh-huh. You have to do it now. I would love to. It's perfect. As soon as I move out, mm-hmm. you'll you'll make it into <laughs> we'll a, a, a cool library room. But, no, the turkeys in the haunted ride, they look like oh. genitalia. Yeah. To a scary extent. Uh, where I was like, whoa, this is, they knew. They knew what they were They doing. knew and they kept it in. There's a lot of that in this movie, though. Like, they really, they know what they're doing. Mm-hmm. Like, they were, like, smoking meats in the van. Like, we'll do what yeah. we do best. Pass mm-hmm. the dutch yes. to the left. It's like, they we know, know what you're trying mm-hmm. to allude to, bro. Mm-hmm. Which is fantastic. Mm-hmm. It's what we're all thinking. And I when w- they hide in the medieval, like, setting in, like, two seconds, I was like, this is <laughs> such a Scooby-Doo plot. Like, Right, where it's, it's like so in the show they would do that. And yeah, it takes like three seconds and nobody's the wiser. Yeah, except for when he farts. Yes. Which is a big part he of the movie. Like, oh no. <laughs> yeah, like, like, oh no. I love him so <laughs> he's much. He's so cute. He is adorable. Uh, he's the uh, perfect shaggy. He's so genuine. I wrote, dorky chicks like you turn me on too. <laughs> Full fucking dumbass mode. <laughs> Loser. Um, they have the classic Velma looking for her glasses. Such a good Scooby Doo trope. That bitch loses her glasses in, like, every episode, and it's always a ghost who finds it and picks yeah. it up and hands it to her, which they had in this movie. I was like, You're like, perfect. good. We needed it. Perfect. I do love, though, that, like, the minute that her glasses get removed, she falls to the ground. Exactly. And isn't <laughs> like, she can't just be like, hey, can someone give me my glasses? <laughs> She's always so dramatic <laughs> with it. I love it. I, know, I, have, a, I have, like, a handful of quotes here. <laughs> um, why do you care? You drink out of the toilet. So do you. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, he's so fucking cute. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, oh, I wrote about, ew, the fucking creepy Coast Guard freaks. Yeah, they were, like, genuinely scary. They were the scariest part of the movie. Yeah, and you like, never see them again, but they're haunting. Yeah, I'm like, mm, I don't like that. He's like, like, oh, uh, just like. And you don't really get an explanation as to why they're in on it, but they are. <laughs> yeah, they never show up again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're never part of the plot again, but they're the most terrifying. I think it's just to establish that, like, help isn't coming. Yeah. Like, it doesn't matter if you try to call out. It won't happen. But they're so creepy. And something else I do love about the Scooby-Doo franchise is, like, they're basically full A-cab. Because mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. they, they yeah. solve the mystery. And then the cops show up later, and mm-hmm. it's like, we fucking solved it, yeah, you idiot. Yeah, we're done here. Which happens in the movie. The cops mm-hmm. show up at the ver- after they've already figured everything yes. out. Everyone's already gone, mm-hmm. though. It's, it's incredible. It's hilarious. Um, um, every Daphne outfit is fire. The boots alone. Fashion icon. Her dress always matches her little bag that mm-hmm. she has. The boots are sexual. It's always purple. It's always there's always a hair accessory. Ugh. Also, she has Becca hair. Becca has she Daphne does. hair. Which she does like have Daphne hair. <gasps> that would be such a good mm-hmm. costume for her. Oh my wait god! Yeah, we gotta tell hair. her right away. I'm like, wait a second. Hello. We should all be different people in the mm. Scooby Doo. I'll universe. be Fred. I'll be Shaggy. Hell yeah! Hell yeah, baby! Mm. Velma <laughs> would be cute too, but Velma would be cute. I think you need the right hair for it. You know. You know. I mean, um. Yeah, I wrote Sugar Ray, hella hot. <laughs> of course. Yes. A- very here. into him. Very. The frosted tips. Oh, yeah. He pulls them off. Like in that um, episode of Broad City where Trey. Oh, has my the gosh. Yes. Tips. I was like, I like it. Like, I like you it. You know what? I would. Oh, I love, smash. I love when Scooby Doo does skits with the monsters, which is also like such a TV show thing. It is. Like, he's always like giving them haircuts or like. Yeah doing like skits with them and the monsters always go along with it until he goes too far and then they're like, oh, he's like wait a minute it's exactly. <laughs> so cute so in the movie he's like filing their nails yeah. and then they're like ah they're like what the hell oh, no I he's just so much he's, we do is a gem he's one of the best characters i think of all time wow damn i really think Speak that on it I re- and i really think that i really i, I, I really think do you might be right don't you like he's great at least probably in like the top 10 to 15 wow Especially this version of him. Yeah, I, I'd have to think about that, but I bet I'd agree with you. Yep. He's, he's iconic. Um, ew, one of our um, 
biggest like no nos happen mm. in this movie. Oh, where their voices don't match oh, yeah. up with their body. Mm. Nope. No, no, nope, 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 nope. we don't like that. Shiver me timbers. We talk about that a lot, <laughs> we and like we it. hate it. <laughs> yeah. So why would you it's do that? It's very to us? unsettling. How fucking dare you? Um, also, Scooby whining makes so me want sad. to fling myself off yeah. a building. Yeah. Yeah. The cutest little Yeah, baby. the ending gets kind of dark. So they, like, find the cauldron of heads, which I love the cauldron of yeah, heads. Yeah. And really I cool. crack up every time when Shaggy's looking for his friends in the cauldron, and he pulls out the wrong head, and yeah. the guy goes, thank you so much for saving my life. And he goes, oh, sorry, looking for my friend. And he, he puts <laughs> him back, and the guy is like, no, please. Like, you could have just flung <laughs> exactly. it somewhere, but you didn't. It makes me uh, die. Oh, sorry. <laughs> He's just so overwhelmed. He's like, exactly. I'm a fucking stoner. I can't do anything. And what they all mean? end up being saved in the end, so it's okay. Yeah. But that part cracked me up. Like, mm-hmm. But yeah, when Scooby Doo's like marching to his doom, and him and Shaggy are having that heart to heart, it's so like, you know I really cute. love you. And you're my yeah, best and he's oh like, "Here's God. the plan. We're gonna get out of here. We're gonna scream like we always do." And then the fucking thing comes, like attacks Scooby, and I was like shook. I know. Every time, even though I've seen this movie literally dozens of times. You know what? One of my favorite things about I think our friendship, but also just like with certain people in general, is when you're talking about like an issue you're having, and the other person's like. Don't worry, we'll figure it out. Mm-hmm. It's like we, the power right. of we. Everything is much less scary it's when you got a scary. homie by your side. Yeah, when your homie is just like, it's okay, we will figure it out. It's mm-hmm. like they didn't have to make it their problem, but they did. Mm-hmm. And that's. Stacey's a real one, you guys. She Stacey's always a real gets one. on it. No. <laughs> um, oh, I also wrote how many fucking movies from this time overused white people. Using AAVE, it's bad news. Oh, they're like, yo, yo, yo. Yeah, they're like, yo, we keep it real. Like, I'm like, can yeah. you please, bro? And it's please. supposed, it's like portrayed as youth culture, but it's just done badly. Yeah, it's really, it's it's bad <laughs> news. That was probably the most problematic part of the movie, though. Like, the yeah. kind of the only problematic mm-hmm. part, I would say. Yeah. Um, let's get jinky with it. Let's get jinky with it. I'm like, love ya, but... Stinky. <laughs> Yet again, I loved it. I'm using it. I love it. I mean, I uh, I don't dislike it, but it is stinky. Okay, um, quick question. Yeah. Mr. Bean. Yeah. Smash or pass? In what? As spooky bad guy. Pass. Really? Yeah. I thought smash. I mean, I love that I for you. I him in this role. I would smash Shaggy. I don't know if you're into mm. that. Are you into Shaggy? No, I feel like I just want to kick it with Shaggy. Shag is in the room. I don't see him that way. It's okay. <laughs> see, because he's my man's. Yes, so exactly. So you guys would be really you good friends. Tastes, absolutely. And then you'd be able to come over and hang yeah. out with Scooby. And I'd be like, wow, love this stoner couple. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. truly, what a dream. Mm-hmm. What a fucking dream. Would you yeah, I'd definitely be friends day? with him, but I wouldn't. Okay, I see that. You know what I mean? Who else would you smash out of the group? Yeah. Um, Fred, I think he's very hot. But I think it's mostly just Freddie Prince Jr. Yeah, you'd be like, hey, <laughs> shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> like, I think if anyone else were cast as Fred, I'd be like, meh. I would definitely bang, ooh, hmm. I don't know. Voodoo <sighs> ritual guy? Actually, no. Really? Surprisingly. Huh. I know. No. He, looks, he knows how to season a chicken. Oh, voodoo ritual. Sorry, I was thinking of the fire guy. Oh, voodoo. No, oh no, no, no. Voodoo guy? Fuck yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Okay. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Especially, yeah, he's like a magical, yeah. beautiful man. He's a beachside property? Are you yeah, kidding I'm like, me? Um, yeah, I don't care if it's a shack on no, the side of the I beach. No, I really don't. Yeah, that's a beachside <laughs> that's property. Beachside. That's a mansion as far as no I'm No one's just, bothering you? It's a mansion in Wisconsin, mm. baby. I'm fucking down. <laughs> um, and yeah, probably like a, probably not Daphne. Oh, okay. Maybe Velma. Mm. On the right day. On the right day. On the right day. If I'm feeling it. Velma. Not uh not Fred. Daphne's gotta go. Fred's gotta go. Please. I don't like okay. I don't love the ascot on him. Mm. I would like it on someone else. I don't mm-hmm. like it on him. Okay. Glad we established that. You know, we got some important. You know we business. always have to do a smash pass. <laughs> the Scooby Dooby Doo song, the remix at the end where it's like rock, so fucking good. Who is it by I wrote I, I thought about Ooh, it and I, I don't didn't know. I should have looked it up. It's like letters. It's huh. uh well uh, <laughs> It's not numbers. It is a series of <laughs> letters. I can't remember who it is. They use the Do alphabet. <laughs> they use the alphabet to spell out the word. No, I'm like, I'm so. It does have letters. Dumb. I'm like, that's, it's letters, which is really so weird. No, I don't remember. But the guys, song's great. It's look it great. up. <laughs> you look it up. 
How do you look it up? No, I'm just kidding. And I like how they did character development for a lot of the characters, even in like yes. a short thing. Like Daphne goes from like helpless to empowered. Yeah. Velma goes from the wallflower to the leader. Yeah. Bread learns how to act right. Yeah. I guess Scooby and Shaggy don't really, but, but that's they, okay. they like um, <laughs> tell each They're other how perfect. grateful they are for each other. That's true. Yes. Where yeah. Like, he was like, maybe sometime, Scoop. Because mm. he was saying he wasn't being a good friend to him, which he wasn't. Yeah, that's true. We didn't even bring up Isla Fisher. Oh, yeah. Early is that Isla name? Fisher. That's role. her yeah. name, yeah. Mm-hmm. She's As so a blondie. Mm-hmm. She's so cute. She's sadly temporarily taken over by demon dogs, but, you know, she gets over it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we didn't even bring up Scrappy. Or Scrappy's it? the bad guy, He's which I thought guy. was so funny. Like, what a great move. I know. She's like, there's always one in every family. They do, like, the flashback mm-hmm. of them in the van. Mm-hmm. I'm like, and she, that's where she was like, and Daphne was so beautiful. Mm-hmm. I'm like, mm-hmm. you want to fuck her? Just so Yeah, it. like, totally. But anyway, yeah, he sucks. He's mm-hmm. an egomaniac. They and kick I him love out how Velma goes, he wasn't even a puppy. He just had a gland disorder. <laughs> he just had a gland disorder. <laughs> oh, and her man's. Oh, yeah, very hot. Fine as Very fuck. high. The little goatee. I oh loved it. Oh my god, yum. I loved it. Yumsville Supreme. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the last uh, note I wrote was kicking butt yet again. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> MXV, no, our producer, our producer Anthony was MXV, very okay. So letters, <laughs> yeah. like I said, she nailed it. Letters, no, thank you, yeah. Anthony. <laughs> um, the last line, <laughs> he was trying to signal to me for so long, but I, I thought he was doing something else. Anyway, <laughs> the last line is literally <laughs> kicking butt <laughs> before yeah, the credits baby. took over, and I'm like, not again. Mm-hmm. But one thing I still say from like the credit scene yeah. is them peppers is hot. Yeah, them peppers <laughs> is hot. I still say that whenever something's hot. I love that little scene. It's, it's so, so cute. cute. It's so nice. Scooby them. and Shaggy forever. I know. I love that's us, mm, babe. That is us. So cute. But anyway, those that's all the notes I that's have. That's all my today. notes. Wow. You Are have you ready for trivia? Oh, we'll see. I bet you're I don't know if I'll do it. well. We'll see. Oh, I'm sure you know. Okay. Okay. You already answered this, but who does the Luna ghost end up being? The janitor. The janitor, old man Smithers. <laughs> uh, it's always like an old man something. Exactly. Number two, what is Shaggy's last name? Rogers. Yes! Uh, that like was Mr. a tough Rogers. one. That was a tough one. <laughs> Wait. Shaggy? No, I'm just kidding. Okay, <laughs> what does Shaggy... My handwriting's bad. Oh, what does Shaggy win from the claw machine? Boik. Uh... Isla Fisher goes, it's the cutest blank blank I've ever seen. I know. I can't remember. Uh, fuck. Fuck, fuck. It's a little culturally appropriate Oh, Shrunken Head? It's a Shrunken Head. Okay, that's what it is, yeah. Um, who is the other do at Spooky Island? Scrappy. Mm, okay, this was kind of a trick question. Oh, okay. Other than Scrappy. The other do? Mm-hmm. It's like a joke a couple times in the movie. Okay, it's Melvin Dew. Melvin Dew. Oh, when, yes, yes, yes. Because when the guy calls, he goes, I have somebody for Mr. Dew. And, and then the guy the goes, guy. Melvin Dew? And he Dew? goes, no, Scooby. Dang and then it. another quote that Brent and I say all the t- time is one of the monsters busts in and goes, Scooby Doo, where are you? And he goes, don't you mean Melvin Dew? <laughs> He's like, no. <laughs> I just Bro, love it. Melvin Dew? Don't you mean Melvin Dew? No, we don't mean Melvin Dew. <laughs> okay, last question. Okay, you can get two points on this one. What body does Shaggy end up in during the body swap? And he ends up in two. If you get one right, you win it, but bonus points if you get both. Okay, he's definitely in Velma's. Mm -hmm. So I win. Um, win? And then the second one is... And he has a little funny joke when he enters this body. Oh my god, I can't remember. I mean, there's uh, very limited options. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> um, um is it fred no he goes, i don't remember he goes oh dad oh yeah don't you ever oh, eat you, don't you ever eat yeah i remember that because i was like dude me and stacy exactly. for real <laughs> you're right well yeah. there you go mm-hmm. we did it. i did better than i thought yeah you did great thank you my queen and you got rogers shaggy rogers i mean i just thought, well rogers you guys know my hero is mr rogers so when i heard that i was like okay that's the cutest thing ever they oh, would, we got a note from our producer. So Shaggy is not his first name. <gasps> his full name is Norville Shaggy Rogers. What? Whoa. I didn't know that. Norville. Wow. This is, man, our producer. Good Lord. Okay. Shouts out to Anthony. Shout out to Anthony. He For makes real. the magic just happen. Keep, just keeping it real. We couldn't do without him. We or really couldn't do anything. Real. <laughs> Seriously. Okay. 
So I do have a which Scooby Doo character matches your personality How quiz wow. on BuzzFeed. Okay, so pick a talk show host. Jimmy Kimmel, Ellen DeGeneres, Steve Harvey, James Corden, Jimmy Fallon, or Dr. Phil? Ugh. Who's the first one? Uh, Jimmy Kimmel. I'll go with him. Okay. Um, pick an activity. Reading, watching Netflix, going out to eat, playing a sport, having a spa day, or going wakeboarding. Ah. Uh. Going out to eat. <laughs> going out to eat. <laughs> Between that or a spa day, though, because my wife and I love a spa day. What is your sign? Cancer. Yep. I'll just go ahead and uh, select that. Pick a condiment. Ketchup, ranch, barbecue sauce, mayo, mustard, or I don't really care for any of them. Ketchup, hard. Ketchup. Yep. Ketchup. Work, work. Choose a drink. Water, pop, lemonade, milk, coffee, or beer. Pop. pop. All right, Coke. Dirty Just pop. Say. Dirty pop. Da, da, da. You can't stop. Which of these houses would you want to live in? I'm going to describe them for the listeners. Okay, perf. A fancy mansion, perhaps in Wisconsin. Mm, Wisconsin. Like a more of a ski lodge, a mountain home, a castle, a kind of a lighthouse looking one, or like a very, very fancy mountain lodge. Oh, I like the, I like the idea of a lighthouse. Okay. That's cool. It's very Nova Scotia coded. Exactly. Okay, choose a dog breed. Golden Retriever, Australian Shepherd, Pug, Siberian Husky, Dachshund, or a Shih Tzu? Hmm. There aren't any of my normal <laughs> go-tos in there. I'd probably say, um, probably a Pug. Okay. I think they're so they're fucking so cute. They're so cute. They're so fucking my cute. My friend Shelby babies. got a new Pug puppy, and she is so freaking so adorable. Ugh. I love Pug. Okay. Choose an appetizer. Maple and brown sugar bacon wrapped hot dogs. Okay, I'm hungry. <laughs> Mozzarella sticks, <laughs> veggies and dip, barbecue meatballs, chips and salsa, strawberry shortcake kebabs. What? I know. It's a very random assortment of foods. Wait, what was the first couple? Sorry. Make maple and brown sugar bacon wrapped hot dogs. Mozzarella sticks, veggies and dip, BBQ meatballs, chips and salsa, strawberry shortcake kebabs. Probably mozzarella sticks. Also, Yummy. there's these ones that I really want to try that are like... Uh, I think they're at Chili's. Or maybe, I don't know where they're at, mm. but they're like hot sauce covered ones. Okay. I'm like, yeah. You know who has amazing mozzarella sticks that mm. are underrated? BJ's. I don't know if I've ever had them from they're there. They're really good. I love BJ's, they're really dude. Good. I haven't been to BJ's in a million years. Ugh, they're amazing. Okay, pick a random food. Caramel popcorn, french fries, chocolate melting cake, raspberry cupcakes, Eggo waffles, honey roasted peanuts. Waffles, for waffles. sure. Waffles. Gotta do waffles. Lastly, pick a color. Blue, purple, green, yellow, orange, or like a teal. Green. Teal. Okay. You got Fred. What? <laughs> why, do, why do I get the worst fucking it answer? It doesn't even have like an explanation. It just is Fred and then his picture. <laughs> Sorry. I'm trying to think of what, the, is it? Waffles? Oh. This let's is, see, I'm see. actually... She's like, I'm pissed off. We all know you're Scooby, okay? Thank you. Or Shaggy. Or Shaggy. This is stupid and rigged. And I also didn't like the last one either. Yeah. So, fuck. Halloween month quizzes are Buzz not going Feed? well. Not going well. Our relationship well. with BuzzFeed is dwindling. It's about to be over. We're about to be canceling our partnership that doesn't exist. <laughs> Pick a talk show host. <laughs> Jimmy Kimmel, Ellen DeGeneres, Steve Harvey, James Corden, Jimmy Fallon, or Dr. Phil? I'm going to do Steve Harvey because I do love all the wild shit he says. He was going to be my second one. <laughs> he is pretty funny. Pick an activity. Reading, watching Netflix, <laughs> <laughs> going out to eat, playing a sport, having a spa day, or going wakeboarding. I'm going to do reading. I do love to read. She does he he. What is your sign? She's a Gemini, baby. Mm -hmm. Pick a condiment. Ketchup, ranch, barbecue sauce, mayo, mustard, or I don't really care for any of them. I'm going to go with mustard. I love mustard. Yeah, mustard's good. Especially mixed with mayo. Yes. Okay. Choose a drink. Water, pop, lemonade, milk, coffee, or beer. Again, coffee, 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 coffee. Coffee, 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 coffee. Mm, yummy. Which of these houses would you want to live in? Do you remember what they look like? Yes. I'm going to do... Well, actually, show me one more time. Just give me a, give me a peek. I'm going to do the top right. It's, I think like that's probably the one I would have chosen if I saw it. Yeah, it's yeah. like a cabin situation. Yeah, it's real, and I like the color green. Mm -hmm. Choose a dog breed: Golden Retrieve, Australian Shepherd, Pug, Siberian Husky, Dachshund, or Shih Tzu. I'm gonna go with the wiener dog. So the cute. Dachshund. They're so cute. little Riley boys. The sweetest little faces. 
Ugh. Choose an appetizer. Maple and brown sugar bacon wrapped hot dogs. More like the little weenies. Yeah. Mozzarella sticks, veggies and dip, mm-hmm. barbecue meatballs, mm-hmm. fire, mm-hmm. chips and salsa, or strawberry shortcake kebabs. I have to do mozzarella sticks too. I my love mouth love mozzarella sticks. My mouth is watering right we now. I'm so if, hungry. We have to see if BJ's is open after this for I'm oh my god, that sounds good. <laughs> Pick a random food. Caramel popcorn, French fries, chocolate melting cake, raspberry cupcakes, eggo waffles, or honey roasted peanuts. Can you read them one more time? You do love popcorn, though. Caramel yeah. popcorn. I don't like caramel popcorn. Oh, yeah, I don't really either. Mm-hmm. French fries, mm. chocolate melting cake, mm. raspberry cupcakes, eggo waffles, or honey roasted peanuts. Out of those, I'm going to say the raspberry whatever's cupcakes. Yeah, that sounds yeah. good mm-hmm. as fuck. Lastly, pick a color. Blue, purple, green, yellow, orange, or teal. I'll do the teal. You're Velma. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Yes. Cute. Fuck yes. Well, fuck you, BuzzFeed, for my not stupid friends. answers. We're Scooby and Shaggy, and I'm that's all there is to it. Yeah, genuinely, I don't care which one I am. I'm either Scooby or Shaggy, mm-hmm. and Stacy's whichever one I didn't get. Exactly. And that's that's it. We're creating our own reality. Sorry. What did my da- what does my dad always say? I reject your reality and substitute my own. That's and that's what right. I'm doing. And that's the takeaway from that's today. That's the takeaway. Guys. You get to create your own reality, mm-hmm. just like. Uh, the members of the Mystery Incorporated gang. And members of our Patreon. Only. Ding. <laughs> 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 we both ding. But um, we love you guys so much. We Hope you're having so a fucking fantastic October. And, and make sure you're season. carving those pumpkins. Get out to the hayride. Yeah. Go see a scary movie. Eat some candy corn. You know? Yeah, genuinely. I feel like we all have little bucket lists that we want to do. And a lot of the time we let our everyday nonsense, you know, take over. But truly do something holiday themed and nice for yourself yeah. to create cute memories with yourself and your loved one. Um, the next episode is going to be, well, okay. I think we should swap them. I was thinking that too. Okay. okay so then, okay. The next episode. Okay. Good. Wait, then I think I'm thinking of the right one, right? Say it. Paranormal activity. Yes. Okay. So we're doing <laughs> paranormal activity this next week, which mm. Stacy and I did see in theaters together. Yeah. So scary. So it's so scary. Oh, I'm so looking forward I'm to it. I'm to watch it again. Me too. <laughs> but stay tuned. Mm-hmm. We might be different people by the time we watch it again mm-hmm. and come back on here. But we love you guys so much. And uh, can't wait to see you next week. Love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. Thank you for listening. Shout out to I Have No Mouth for our delightful theme song and Whitney Vertucci for our beautiful podcast art. And all of this couldn't be possible without our amazing producer, Anthony, a.k.a. DJ Munchausen. If you have questions for us or would like to advertise with us, please email us at blockbusterwives at gmail.com and please join our Patreon for exclusive bonus content. As always, please rate, subscribe, and tell all your friends about us. We love you. Calm. <laughs> Calm, oh. scummy do! And I'm being calm! <laughs> I needed that. I needed that too. You're pushing your luck, Scoob.